Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be setting up week five in my Hobonichi Mega Everyday Carry. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so like we do, uh, we're going to set up week five. We're going to do a quick flip through of week four, and then I'll end the video on what I eat in the last work week. Typical for my weekly video where I do this. And I don't call these a plan with me because I'm not a planner. I'm someone who lists completed tasks. And so I'm a tasker. I don't know. What's, what's the name you'd use? I don't use the name, but this is my Hobonichi Weeks Mega Everyday Carry. And just for setup purposes, it is easier if I take it out of my Moterm cover. This is week five right here. And we're going to approach this again a little bit differently. I did take Thursday and Friday off. The second is actually the due date of a month long project for me. And so I just thought I'd treat myself with some downtime. I have no plans of going anywhere or doing anything harder than taking naps, watching television, coloring, journaling, just doing fun stuff. So I'm not going to need a ton of space. I do have my January Your Creative Studio box. I've got some elements here on the desk. And so we might just do a full on departure. I did use this, uh, the other half of this sheet in another part of my journal. <clears throat> And so we might not do the things we normally do by way of the word of the week, the quote, thoughts in, thoughts out. We might not do any of it. Maybe we'll just have fun with collaging. Yeah, in fact, let's do that. I'm going to take this off because I might actually want to glue this down. This is just a sheet of paper. It's not sticky. Although I do want to be mindful of how thick this gets, honestly, some weeks I just, I want to play. And I do have these little pieces of paper. I mean, we could lean into the collaginess. I like the blue. That's too similar. Hmm, that's kind of nice. The green and the brown. I don't need to see the calendar down there, so we can cover that up. I'm not doing the standout. I think all of the rest of these, I mean, it, it coordinates, but I don't know that that's the vibe that I want to go for. Yeah, so let's just make a decision, do that. These are a booklet of stickers that look like tickets. And I'm leaning towards these light ones because it does bring some contrast. Oh, and this one right here is cute. So. It's, oh no, I thought it was perforated, but it's not. <laughs> so let me just cut that off. And actually, I'm going to cut all of these. I don't know which one we're going to use. But these are all stickers. And I've got some washi stickers here have yet to do the functional, which is very unlike me. Oh, that's upside down. So there's a bird there. This is just decorative. Oh, that's kind of nice. The two birds. Oh, I like the two birds. Maybe we can put this over here. I do need a checklist 
of what I need to remember for next week because it's just a regular work week next week, so I probably will need to hit the ground running. Okay, all right, I'm gonna stick this side down before I forget, and then we'll work on the functional for this side. All right, so I've got all of the elements down. I think we can go for my favorite Tombow color, which is 772. This is absolutely my favorite shade of pink. Wait, I'm off Thursday too. That's fine, that's fine. We're actually going to turn that into something. Um, I looked at the cafeteria uh, for this week for breakfast and for lunch, and it doesn't look that appetizing, but I do like seeing it. So let's do something there, and let's do something there and something here and something here so i do have a sarasa pen in like a forest green let me find that and what i'm gonna do is just tie the two pages together that's why i brought this green and pink sticker on this side because it kind of ties in the green on this side as you guys know, I don't get really neat with my highlighting because I know that I'm gonna just square it up. So, I do work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I will be busy all three of those days. But then after that, um, my projects go into maintenance mode because I'll be pretty much caught up at that point. And then we want to put a little section for the meals. I'm not sure about the telework schedule. There have been mixed messages about that. Oh, I did it again. I don't need it here because I'm not working here. So big giant. <laughs> <laughs> yellow tape to the rescue. Okay. So let's make like we have a plan. And this is going to be the quote. No, reminders, reminders. Well then what are these two things? I knew there was a plan and then I forgot what the plan was because I didn't write down the plan. Cafeteria and lunch. This is the quote of the week. Still don't know what that was meant to be, guys. I actually don't even think I said it out loud, so it's not like any of you can remind me. <laughs> I'm gonna find a washi sticker. I'm gonna put something over here. All right, guys, uh, yeah, so I had a bit of a play because it just wasn't looking right. So I put those stickers down. Uh, this was a sticker that I got from last month's Your Creative studio box this was a sticker i got in this little set from my friend andy and then i did take a Teresa collins uh, be happy box sticker and i'm actually going to cut it because i think this side needs something and so we're just going to add text like i said super collage heavy i haven't actually done this in my work planner or the work side of it, because I do have a journaling side that you'd see. But that actually looks good, but now I think this needs a space. Anyway, uh, this is going to be the standout of the week. I don't know why I covered the thing up, but I just, I liked the, the look of it. And more than likely, the standout is going to be, it's only a three-day work week. Actually, let me 
because I keep thinking I'm working four days just by looking at this. Yeah, I think that's, that's fine. Okay, this actually for you guys is probably a relatively short video, but for me, it actually took a little time. I love how this looks and not gonna lie, I could do this every single week, but it does make it thick. It shouldn't be problematic next week because I'll highlight down that way so I wouldn't write there anyway. It's solid behind here and there's no ridges. So yeah, it should be fine, but it definitely would make this a chonky thing. I will outline this later, probably at work tomorrow. I do have this same pen at work, so I might write in green. I might probably just write in black since the text is in black. I'm not sure, but I love how this looks and it's certainly different. Um, this week here is typically what I will do, but because I have so many days off this week, uh, I just wanna look at something pretty. It's gonna be super busy and then it's not, so yeah. We need to make this work for us. This was last week. The quote of the week was, this too shall pass. It might pass like a kidney stone, but it will pass. And it definitely was that kind of week. Um, I had seen something on, oh, I did write it down. Little Pickles Colorful Life on Instagram, where it talks about anxiety isn't just hyperventilating and rocking back and forth. It actually is some other things. And that really, really um, struck a nerve with me. Uh, some of the signs are unpredictable bouts of rage or irritability. Check nitpickiness or hypersensitivity to disarray, fast talking, stuttering, stumbling over words. That's absolutely me. Not talking. Uh, I can get to a point in the day where I feel so overwhelmed that I just mentally, emotionally, and word-wise just sh shut down and then just kind of zoning out just so that I can find my center and find my calm. And more and more these days, um, those things are happening to me. I just assumed I'm an irritable person and I'm getting old, but I, I didn't realize those could have or be effects of anxiety. So it just knowing that it, there's a reason for things actually helps me. I know that sounds weird, but it does. I didn't put a tracker again. It's going to be busy, but the day should go by fast. Um, I'm hoping to have a really good long weekend. So I didn't feel the need for that. So this video is done. Uh, it might seem really choppy. I, I don't know. I hopefully I can make it work in editing, but I this this really is my style. I love the colors. I love all the things about it, and I think the text added definitely um, centered it and and made it visually pleasing because it just it seemed empty, which is weird because it's very collage heavy. Now I'm just talking bubbles. If you're interested, I will insert footage now of what I ate in last week's work week. But otherwise, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha. Hey guys, lunch for today, Monday, January 24th is a zhuzhed up kimchi bowl. Um, it's been a busy morning, so I didn't have time to prepare anything more elaborate, but it's just a regular kimchi bowl. I can insert a picture here. And uh, we had some roast pork and char siu in the fridge from the weekend. I did uh, boil some cabbage, add some green onions. I don't use the entire package. I like the flavor of it, but it's a little bit too spicy for me. And so it's just half packet here and a little bit of shoyu just to balance out the saltness or saltiness uh, for breakfast. I just had a cup of coffee. I didn't film last week, Friday. I had to go into the office unexpectedly for an errand. And so I just used my lunch break for that. So uh, that's the reason why I didn't film last week. Anyway, that's it for me for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Tuesday, January 25th is literally a bunch of leftovers. So there's some leftover Popeye's chicken nuggets from I don't know when, some leftover Chinese from I'm not sure when, and some leftover broccoli and cauliflower from last night because I have chicken nuggets. Uh, I have this in my office. I'm gonna have to with that. And yeah, that's lunch for today. Breakfast was coffee and I'll have this with some water. It, it should be more appetizing than it looks.
hopefully. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Wednesday, January 26th, is just a chili dog. We had some leftover hot dogs and buns. That's just some Hormel chili. I'll actually have the rest of it tomorrow. And then some pickles. I think I have some Fritos, but I might save that for tomorrow. And breakfast was just coffee. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, lunch for today, Thursday, January 27th, is the leftover chili from yesterday with some cheese and some pre-cooked chicken strips from Costco. Never tried them before, but they smell good. Some Fritos and some pickles. I'm actually gonna mix this in here for like a chicken Frito pie. That's a thing, right? And I don't know if you've noticed this, but if I can't get a vegetable, then I'll just add pickles. I mean, it's green, so it counts, right? <laughs> Breakfast was just coffee. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Friday, January 28th, last Friday of January, is some leftover fries from Jack in the Box. That's what we had for dinner last night. I just put it in a, a frying pan, but no oil, and then just dry fry it. I don't know if that makes sense. It's not as good as it was yesterday, but it's definitely better than microwaving it. Some ketchup. I've got a Junior Jumbo Jack. I don't warm up burgers that have vegetables on it, and so I just eat it cold straight from the fridge. And then I have some leftover tomato salad from last night. It's just tomato and Italian dressing. That's lunch for today. Breakfast, I had some oatmeal. I haven't had my coffee yet. Um, for whatever reason, when I work from home, I have my coffee in the afternoon as my afternoon snack. But in my, if I'm in the office, I have it first thing in the morning. I know. I think it has something to do with my bra. <laughs> Hope you guys have or had a great weekend. I'll see you later.